Welcome to Amazon TV and welcome to this week's vlog. I'm Emma, the creator of the Ignite National Tour, the Stand Your Ground series and the Red Print. I'm going to take this week's vlog as a little bit of a different direction. Normally I'm obviously putting out there what I am, what my work teaches, what I advocate and how I can help you. I'm going to do the opposite today. I'm going to do the complete opposite and I'm going to tell you what I'm not, what the Amazon work is not, just so it can clear up because sometimes when you go do the opposite direction, people can eliminate, go through process of elimination to know whether this work is for you and to be able to clear the air on some of the misconceptions that are out there. Amazon is not a bandwagon <laughs> that you join up on and that you go that route. Amazon is not a, um, a thing that you do and Amazon is definitely not a cult. Um, anything that advocates, educates, empowers, uh, your free will is actually the opposite. So anything that gets you to think for yourself, to make up your own mind, introduce you to a whole line of different people from different doctrines, principles, specialist backgrounds, um, and education theories, um, it's actually the opposite of a cult, which is just one way, only one way, absolute, don't break the rules, um, and follow it exponentially. So when it comes to understanding what my work is, Amazon represents which is what my work is, a shift in social and personal consciousness that is affecting the culture and Western society in relation to our body image, weight loss and self-worth. Now, whether people like to agree with the work or not, whether they actually think that it's airy-fairy, light and fluffy and that everything that is just fact is what is actually what we are to live by, here's some news for you. This has arrived, this is here, and it is moving at a rapid pace due to thousands of you. Okay, you are the ones who are creating this on a mass level, and I'll explain to you why. Um, you're exhausted, you've tried everything on this theory and this notion that if you just move more, eat less, um, eat like this, follow it like this, drink this, you will lose weight. Oh, and by the way, when you lose weight, all your problems are gone. You know all that Louis Vuitton baggage that you're carrying around with you? That empties the minute that you're actually, that your ass is smaller. So all of this that you've been sold for decades, all right? Some of you that sit in front of me, the hundreds of you that sit in front of me that turn around and go, tried everything, tried everything, done it all. And I'm like, how did it go for you? It didn't work. Okay, right, are we ready to explore new territory? Are we ready to catch up with the shift that is happening en masse driven at a rapid speed through things like social media, right? And all of my work does is it just gives it a language, it gives it a framework, it gives it a roadmap, and it gives it an understanding that so many people sit in front of and go, oh my God, this is actually happening, this is actually real. Um, yes, so it's not a bandwagon, it's not a program, and it's definitely um, not that thing that you do, because I get this kind of <laughs> a lot when people turn around and go, oh, I get it. You're doing that authentic self thing. <laughs> Those of you who are watching this, you're going to have a laugh. So, oh, you're doing all that, all oh, that mind, body, spirit, rah, rah, airy, fairy stuff. Okay, cool. I'm just going to go and smash myself at the gym. I'm going to eat less. I'm going to drink this new green drink that I've been told is shedding weight off everybody, and I'll catch you later. Go for it. Um, because this isn't just my work, all right? If you have ever watched a TEDx video, if you have ever shared an empowering quote on social media, if you have ever um, looked at anything on Upworthy, if you have ever shared a blog from Tiny Buddha, if you've ever seen Stop the Beauty Myth, if you've ever seen Endangered Bodies, like I can keep going here for hours and I can keep quoting these people on you that are getting millions and millions of hits on their sites and they're sharing their blogs and these things are going viral. Do you not think that that is affecting our consciousness as a culture? Do you not think that that is slightly blowing away the smoke and mirrors on the illusions of what you weigh is who you are, your worth is based on the number and the size and what you look like? Do you not think that's penetrating society on a massive level, right? So this is where I ask people to just stop fucking around. Get real on calling out yourself and going, this shit for me didn't work. Why am I spending hours of my day, my brain power, obsessing about this, wondering about this, going, I can get so much else in my life together, but I just can't get this bit right. If I could just nail the diet thing. Have you ever thought that it's maybe the diet thing that's the problem, not you? So this is where people are starting to understand. And we've got these amazing specialists that are coming out of the woodwork that they've been studying this stuff about Food is to be looked upon as food as medicine, to be able to understand that we are an energy body, that how we consume, what we consume has life force. So there are these wonderful books that are being written, amazing videos that are being recorded by people who know their shit about this. This isn't some light, airy, fairy, fluffy, intangible stuff. Um, and I get the fact that it's hard to switch over into a new level of consciousness because some people have built 
neurological programs on just smash yourself and eat less. This has been going for decades. So we've got a neurological cluster up here, pretty well wired and for some of you welded like concrete. So to undo it, you must search out new empowered information. We have to start looking and start working with life coaches, um, coaches, specialists, dietitians that understand food from a new dimension, from a new um, principle and how we can apply it from a new psychology. If you're one of those people that it worked for, that the eat less, move more, um, that has worked for, and yes, I was happy when my ass got smaller, then you're not one of my clients. It's that simple. The ones who are, are the ones that are turning around going, I'm ready to call it out. I'm ready to call it out. I'm ready to go there. And I'm ready to explore that scary thing called mind, body, spirit. Because I'll introduce you to a lot of people who know what they're talking about. I will talk direct to the industry and sit in a room full of people that will turn around and go, bullshit, Emma. Bullshit. It's this theory, it's this. Don't try to dress it as anything else and wrap it in any of this self-worth blah. We'll catch up because if I duck out of the way, there is going to be another thousand media streams, blogging, people breaking open and telling the truth regardless of whether I'm saying it or not. I'm putting it in a quick framework, language, dialogue and approach so that you can shorten your learning curve so you can get to, yes, the authentic self, the one that's not enslaved by the idea you are what you weigh. Why am I so passionate about it? Why am I so convicted? Why do I stand so solid, firmly and concrete and will not shut up about it for a long time? Is because I have sat in front of so many of you and I have heard the suffering. I have heard the struggle. I have heard the way the head has been tormenting people about this. I take this very seriously because I know what it does to people's existence. I have heard it, I have sat in front of it. This is not just a theory that I have just blogged about. This is real, this is a part of my red print, this is what I do, and the rebellion is here. It is my job to educate you, to bring you up to speed, and to introduce you to wonderful specialists and wonderful people who know what they're doing, who can bridge you into a new consciousness of the red print.